Hi, I'm Kevin Farrell from Prius Healthcare and Moxie Enterprises. Today we're going to go through with you our Duet Complete Mattress System. The Duet combines three therapies, true low air loss, alternating pressure, and continuous lateral rotation, and can perform all three of those therapies at the same time. Now we'll get to the details. The Duet comes in two pieces. The first is the control unit. We're going to attach the control unit onto the foot end of the bed using the spring-loaded hooks, so it snaps tight and fit. And then the second part is the mattress. Once the mattress is placed onto the bed frame, we then need to attach the eight D-ring straps to the frame, uh, the bed deck itself. There's two straps at the foot end, two straps on the patient right-hand side, two straps on the patient left-hand side, and then two straps up at the head. To strap the mattress down to the bed frame, again, we have the eight D-ring uh, straps across the mattress. What you're gonna wanna do is take the strap itself, put it through somewhere on the moving part of the bed frame. Then we'll take the strap itself, put it through both D-rings, and then put that trailing end of the strap through the second D-ring itself, pull it back through, and taut. Once the mattress has been strapped down to the bed frame, the next part is to connect the mattress coupler to the control unit itself. To connect the mattress coupler into the control unit, you're gonna to wanna to line up the yellow arrow with the insert indicator on uh, the air outlet plate itself. Once those are lined up, it'll fit in like so, with a tight fit. The other thing that needs to be engaged is the sensor cable. So there's a cable, much like a, a, an ethernet jack, that will plug right into the side of the unit. That sensor is used for the auto fowler feature that we'll discuss later. Now that the mattress has been connected to the control unit, we can go ahead and turn on the Duet mattress system. There's a power button right here on the center control with the mattress plugged in. There's an orange light that'll illuminate to let you know that the control panel is ready to take, uh, to take power. So you go ahead and just push this, this power button, push and hold for about three seconds, and the system turns on. When the control panel turns on, the mattress immediately defaults to a, setting, a comfort setting of four, and then also in the static mode for therapy. I'm gonna show you a close up here on how you'll be able to alter those controls. We talked about modes of therapy. This mattress does true low air loss at, at all times. Also, you're able to engage alternating pressure. And we do two different kinds of alternating pressure on the Duet mattress system. So this mode button up here on the top left, right now we're in the static, which is indicated on the LCD screen. When I hit mode again, it then moves over to, you see a waveform. That's pulsation. That means that the mattress will raise up in pressure for, for 60 seconds and then decrease in pressure for 60 seconds. And it'll keep that waveform going until you switch it off. The final uh, mode, therapy mode, is alternating pressure. Once that happens, every other cell then will inflate and deflate to help provide therapeutic alternating pressure. The Duet mattress system has 18 air cells that run laterally from head to toe. This is a good shot of the uh, distinct alternation that we use within the system. So as you can see, every third air cell is going to deflate and it gives a full deflation uh, so it gets you good reactor hyperemia, you have an area of zero pressure where that deflated cell is, and then an area of pressure um, on the two inflated cells. Along with that, we do a three-in-one alternation because that means that 70% of the body is always supported by air instead of 50% on just a regular two-in-one system. Once in the alternating pressure mode, we're able to set the amount of time for each phase of the alternating pressure cycle. By hitting the cycle button, you see now my minutes are blinking, and then with the plus minus buttons, I can increase the amount of time per phase in one minute increments up to 20. And then once I go beyond 20 minutes, it'll go up in five minute increments all the way up to 95. What this means is that if we, if we put it 95, so for 95 minutes, the A cells would stay deflated to provide that reactive hyperemia. And then 95 minutes later, the B cells would then deflate after the A cells inflate. 
A physician should write the order for how long they want the alternating cycle to be. If they don't, however, we recommend a five minute alternation cycle for this, for this system. The final therapeutic feature of this duet mattress is the ladder rotation. And we can do both a continuous ladder rotation, or we can also do a turn and hold in case you want to use turn assist. In order to engage the turning function, you hit the turn button over here on the right hand side of the LCD screen. My first indicator is going to be a left turn which means it'll turn to the left, and in this case, it'll hold, or I can set the proper amount of time. So the system will default to the hold feature, meaning that it'll turn to the left and hold that, that left turn of 40 degrees in perpetuity. However, if you want to do a cycle time and have it turn to the left for a certain period of time and then go down to the rest position, back to the left, what you're gonna do first is hit the cycle button. The turn is gonna illuminate. You're gonna go ahead and hit the plus button that's gonna switch the mode to, to the minutes. So now when I hit the cycle button again, the minutes will start blinking and I can increase the cycle time in one minute increments up to 20 or in five minute increments all the way up to 95. If you'd like to do a full turn, go ahead and hit that turn button again. Now the full is going to flicker. And then once that goes uh, solid, we've now switched from doing just a left turn to doing a full turn, which means it's going to turn to the left, as you see with the indicator uh, currently. It's moving into that left position. After it goes to the left, it'll then go to the center position, in this case for three minutes. And then it'll go over to the right for three minutes. Go back to the center for three minutes, and then go back to the left for three minutes. Each phase of the cycle, as we have it set, is for three minutes. However, you can change that cycle time, just like we did before with the left. By hitting the cycle button twice and increasing the amount of time once again. I want to just point out that when it's in the full mode, the little indicator lights are going to show which phase of the turn uh, that, that the mattress is currently in. Now, if you want to just do a right turn, go ahead and hit, hit the turn button again. The right is going to illuminate. And then once that goes solid, you can see it defaults again to the hold system, or I mean to the hold position. It's going to just turn to the right. In this case, hold, hold uh, that right turn. Or, if I set the cycle time again, then I can set the proper amount of minutes. In this case, we'll use 15. So it'll go into the right position for 15 minutes, and then to the rest position for 15. To the right for 15, and then the rest position for 15. Again, the amount of time that's dictated for, uh, for the cycle, and whether a physician wants to do left, right, or full, should be written with a physician's order. Now that the patient has been placed onto the Duet mattress system, we're gonna go ahead and set the proper amount of pressure based on the patient's height and weight by using the auto set feature. The auto set feature is going to ensure that you never need to do a hand check, you never need to worry uh, about weights on the dials. It'll always give them the proper amount of air based on their height and weight, as well as their movement within the mattress. In order to use the auto set feature to put the proper amount of air into the mattress for the patients, based on the patient's height and weight, we're first gonna hit this set button. The first time you hit the button, it's going to flicker on the inches and pounds, which is the imperial measurement. If you need to put it into metric system, just go ahead and push the plus button. And when I do that, you'll see it switches to centimeters and kilograms. Now that we've uh, determined the type of measurement we wanna do, let's go ahead and change uh, the height. So when I hit the set button again, now the inches uh, for the height will blank. Let's say we have a six, six foot patient. We go ahead, dial in 72 inches. If you need to go down, you would use the, the minus sign to go down. When I hit the set button again, then that'll illuminate the weight of the patient. We'll say we have a 180 pound patient. And then once that's complete, I'll go ahead and hit the set button again. It locks in those metrics, and now the auto set feature is engaged. The proper amount of air is put into the mattress for that patient based on their size. If for whatever reason the patient decides that the amount of pressure in the mattress is either too firm or too soft, you can overwrite the auto set feature. When I go ahead and push that auto set button, turning it off, that now allows me to change the controls and I can either increase or decrease the amount of pressure in the mattress, which is indicated by this LED light here. And on this unit, we have 10 settings of pressure. 
When you're going to be putting the patient into the turning function, the first thing you want to ensure is that the side rails are all raised around the bed. Never engage the turning system without the side rails being in the up, fully up position. So with the turning function engaged, starting on the left hand side, you can see the patient now is at a true 40 degree turn. When the patient is in the continuous lateral rotation mode, they're going to be uh, turning in each phase based on the number of minutes that we've input into, into the system. For, for example, let's say we use five minutes. So before you saw the patient up in the left, they're gonna be up in that position for five minutes. Then they return to the rest position as you see here for five minutes. Then they'll go up into the right hand side position for five minutes, back to rest for five minutes, back to left, for five minutes, and it'll keep that progression in perpetuity until you change any of the controls. For ingress and egress, the patient care button is on the, on the left-hand side of the control panel. When I engage that, the max light comes on, the mattress raises all the way up to its firmest to make it easier to get the patient in and out of bed. Another unique feature of the Duet mattress system is the auto fowler function. So when I raise the head of the bed, as I go up above 15 degrees, the system will automatically kick on that fowler. And what happens is the amount of air raises in the patient's midsection, so they're less apt to bottom out. But the bed frame has been put into the fowler position. The auto fowler is gonna kick on. As you just saw, the indicator there for the patient in the seated position means that the auto fowler has now been engaged. In order for the auto fowler to turn off, as I lower the head of the bed back below 15 degrees, it'll automatically put them back at the level that they were before. One feature with the lateral rotation function is that you can put the patient into a turn and hold feature. So that way, if you want to log roll the patient, uh, perform any dressing changes, uh, those sorts of things, this acts as a turn assist feature. And you can see we have our patient right now in the right hand turn, and then we'd be able to easily do a log roll uh, onto the patient's side. One unique feature on the Duet mattress system is the auto lock for the control panel. Anytime the screen light is illuminated above this lock button means that I cannot engage any of the controls. It auto locks after two minutes of inactivity on the control panel. So if you find yourself pushing the buttons and nothing's happening, double check to make sure that the lock is turned off. If it's not, just push and hold it for up to four seconds. When that green light extinguishes, then we can go ahead and alter our controls once again. Another unique feature of the Duet mattress system, and in fact all Prius mattress systems, is our cable management system. There's a series of fabric loops that run all the way from the foot end to the head end. And what it allows you to do is get that power cord from the control unit up off the ground. It eliminates a tripping hazard, both for your caregivers and also for the patient themselves. In addition to that, by getting it up off the ground, you're less likely to have the bed frame uh, run over the cord and sever it. And if you have a DVT unit or other units from the, uh, from the footboard, you can run multiple cords through, again, to prevent those tripping hazards for your caregivers and patients. The Duet is equipped with an air crib feature that gives some, uh, some support between the side rails and then the patient itself. It's air support. It acts as a bit of a speed bump though, so when you're trying to egress the patient out of the mattress, what you'll have to do is use the CPR valve up at the head of the bed, of the bed which is going to dump the air out of the air crib on either side. It will not evacuate any of the air out of the center portion of the mattress. To open up the CPR valve, again, just to let the air out of the air crib itself, it's a twist and pull. Open, twist it, it moves from the closed position to the open position. That'll deflate this air crib, again, making it much easier to get the patient out of bed. Then when you put them back into bed, go ahead and just re-engage this valve by moving it from the open to the closed position and it'll fill back up, providing that important air crib for the patient. Removing the mat mattress coupler also serves as the CPR uh, deflation process. If you want to detach this, first go ahead and detach the sensor cable. And then it's a one-handed turn. As I turn it to the left, I can just pull the coupler out like so. I'd like to thank you for your attention in discussing the Pri Prius Duet mattress system. The mattress system that does continuous lateral rotation, true low air loss therapy, and alternating pressure therapy 
all at the same time. Now, if you do have any questions, most of what I went over is in the user manual that will come in each uh, control unit box that you receive, or you can call our technical service hotline at 877-446-4925. And we'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have regarding the duet. Thanks again for your time.